Welcome everybody to Dubai International Stadium for this first test match of two. Australia taking on Pakistan. Pakistan winning the toss and electing to bat first. No hesitation, very good batting pitch, not a blade of grass on it. Two opening batsmen for Pakistan. Wakar Yunus is alongside me. I'm Brendan Julian. Imam Mahok, just the four matches for him, the left-hander. Good morning, uh, Brendan. Good morning, uh, viewers. Good afternoon back in uh, Australia. And uh, two test matches uh, in this series, Pakistan-Australia. Mohamed Afiz is making his comeback uh, after two years. Uh, loads of experience, uh, a, a decent average, good strike rate. I like the way he takes on uh, with the new ball and coming back, coming to this series uh, with a double hundred uh, in the first class game. So he's in good nick. But this man, Mitchell Stark, is always threatening with the new ball. He's played 44 games. Like uh, TV, he would like to improve on that average. Nine five wicket is all. A good start for Mitchell Stark. A suggestion of outswing. And this time he hits it through the offside. Not a lot of room for error there for Mitchell Stark. Uh, well played from half face. He's going to play his shots if it's there. And you say he should probably on this pitch. Yeah, that was the right length to drive because it was a little bit fuller. Uh, Mitchell Stark gone a little greedy thinking that this ball might swing again or seam again. But very smartly played by Hafiz. He allowed the ball to come close to him. He didn't really push at it. He just timed it. A just gentle punch. That's pitched up and put away beautifully from Imam. A fraction wide and a fraction over pitch from Pete Siddle. Yeah, it's been a good start for Pakistan. They were looking for their openers to give a give a stand, and they're both looking pretty good. They anything loose or full, they have just gone after it. Uh, saw Hafiz earlier driving the ball, and this is beautiful. This is right on top of it, giving it a good follow through. That's ball. Well, there's a big gap between cover and gully. There's no point for Mitchell Stark. He's gone for the catching mid-wicket, mid-on and mid-wicket mid, mid -wicket or square leg. So he's got that leg side pack, but no real protection through that area. Yeah, controlled it uh, beautifully. He's got gully, there's no point. So he had uh, quite a bit of room to play that delivery. It was right on top of it. He made sure that he plays it down. A rank full toss or made into one and that's gone. Hafiz plays spin beautifully and that's the first glimpse of it. Good use of the feet and uh, makes that into a full toss and comfortably whacked away over that mid-wicket area. Maybe a little bit off the inside edge but very safe and away to the boundary. There's the width through the offside and that's gone. First run of Nathan Lyon, and it's a beautiful boundary. Struck very nicely. Full pitch delivery, and no problems for Hafiz. Yes, yeah, just slightly over pitched, and uh, a good stride in there from Hafiz. Not down the track, but just a good stride in, and not trying to overplay the shot, just making sure he guide the ball into the gap. Good timing. Very good shot. Straight oh. over the top. This time he goes for it. He's freeing himself up now, and that's the first six of the morning. With the spin, goes over long on, huge six. Oh, raced away, gee, it's a quick outfield. Slightly outside the off stump, and the ball wasn't too bad from Nathan Lyon. Good shot from half ease. A lovely timing. Let the ball come on, a little back cut, old-fashioned back cut, and it races away. The thing with Hafiz is that he never makes ugly runs. He's always looks under control, looks pretty when he's batting. That's a great shot. Good use of the feet and then just ease it through the offside. Outstanding. Yeah, not a lot of spin. For John Holland, 
Iman getting to the pitch of the ball and placing it very, very nicely past wide mid off. Nicely played again. Back with a point. That'll race away for 4 2. Just a touch short. Another boundary to finish the over. Heaps of cricket going through the schedule once the Australian summer kicks in. It's going to be very busy indeed with Big Bash Test Cricket, One Day International. It's got some big teams coming as well with South Africa early in the summer, India. It's always going to always a huge series. This time the ball beautifully a face once again. Stylishly plays that one through the offside. Gets back for two. No is the call. Comes back at the striker's end, but he'll raise the bat to his mates and few sprinkling of fans here because that's his 50 13th half century 50 of just 96 balls and what a good innings it has been classy knock Mama the fees last minute inclusion into the squad and he's repaid the selectors with a very lovely compiled innings of 50 drives through the offside always elegant and he looks in control First 50 against Australia. Yeah, just slight hint of, of some movement. There's a sweep shot into the gap. That's beautifully played. He's timing the ball so sweetly. Got to his 50 and now looking to put even more pressure on the Aussies the sweep shot played to perfection a fees looking on song yeah in great touch big shot big drive down the ground that's good batting by Imamul Haq 100 partnership is raised some glove love as that 100 comes up for the openers. Imam al Haq likes using his feet. Once you clear that straight back down the ground, it's always going to be four. Very safe shot. There's the cut shot. Plays it beautifully. What great timing from her face. It's difficult to generate pace of this dead pitch, but somehow he's managed to do that right throughout this innings. Lovely touch shot. There's the pull shot. Picked up the length so early. He's in great touch, timing the ball beautifully. Just slightly short, but the slowness of the pitch gives a fees ample time. Picks the gap. Dealing in boundaries. Oh, beautiful shot. Great use of the feed. Good placement. That'll be a boundary. Quality batting from a man in form. Yeah, getting to the pitch quite comfortably, quite nicely. He loves coming down to the pitch. Sometimes it, it, it scares you when, when you're coming down to the pitch to a bowler like uh, line because it's not really spinning, so he can afford to come down to the pitch. There you go. He was very quick on his feet and uh, opened the face of the blade and uh, hit it through the cover beautiful shot yeah, he gave himself a little bit of room as well so he hit the ball a bit squarer through the cover region oh. and that's good batting as well line coming a bit straighter and nice placement and that'll be his 50 128 delivery has been an excellent innings it's his second 50 in test match cricket and he'll be looking to go on and turn this one into a big one It's in the air. Can someone catch it? Oh, just missed it. Just missed. Oh, that's a big miss. Mitch Marsh coming around from long off. Wasn't right back on the rope. Hafiz going for the big one, trying to hit it over mid on. Was beaten in the air. Bit of spin. And I think Hafiz thought he might have been in trouble. Mitch Marsh coming around, trying to go for the AFL-style mark. 
But you can see he's quite a way in. If he had have stayed right on the rope, he might have been able to catch that more comfortably. That's a miss for Australia. Big shot through the offside. That's well timed into the gap and four. Excellent piece of footwork from Imam. Definite intention of just getting on with things. Wow, this is a great shot. Good B, wants two, wants to come back. He's taking him on the fielder. Yeah, what an hundred there from Hafiz. It's his 10th for Pakistan. A 37-year-old comes back into the side for Pakistan. We hadn't seen him for a couple of years. Opening the batting, peeling off 100. And it's his first against Australia. Fantastic innings. Look at the delight. He really has looked solid as a rock. Just the one chance. He scored his runs all around the ground. That's a good shot. Ball wasn't that bad, but it was well pitched out in the half volley. And it was just a push through the offside. That is just a very good shot for a guy that's on 100. Well, that's just quality. He goes over the top, hitting with the spin and into the seats. Yeah, he's used his feet well all day today. Came down early. He didn't bother that it was the last ball before T. Saw it was in his wheelhouse and got made great contact. Beautiful shot. He knew as soon as he made contact with that ball, it was going out of here. Oh, yeah! Caught behind. The finger is raised and so result for Australia and it's a massive one. The opening partnership has been broken. He's heartbroken because he's nearing 100, Imam Ulaq. Yeah, he wanted to be a little bit more cheeky, he wanted to play very, very late, he wanted to play finer. That's why he's just got that edge, a faint edge. And umpire didn't take long before he raised his finger, missed 100 and he's gutted, he knows that. Imam going for 76, is 205 for one. Azhar Ali is impressive, his record here is phenomenal. He had to wait for a very long time for his turn. Well, he's out there now. 66 matches, and best of 302. He's got a double hundred against Australia. Strike rate of 41 with an average of almost 45. Goes down the leg side. Tried just a little bit harder. That's close. Very, very close. Given second one down. Pete Siddle gets his man in his first wicket in this test match. I had the feeling it might have been just going a bit too far down the leg side. Now, Fees is looking back up at the umpire. We have the DRS system in action, and he's referred... Copy that, uh, Richard. Third umpire to director. We have a player review for LBW. The original decision is given out. Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off. Impact in line. Wickets umpire's call. You can stay with your original decision. Richard, I will let you know when you're on screen. Yes, you're on screen. Make the signal. Richard Kettlebrough making the decision. Relief there for the Australians. They would have looked up at the big screen and seen it just clipping leg stump, which means the umpire's call. Well, what about this, though? Muhammad Afi is a magnificent 100. 126 for him. His 10th for Pakistan. Arisa Sahail. The left-hander, just new to test cricket. Average of 36, and well, the best for him is 76. Two new batsmen at the crease, that's what the Australians would have liked. Yeah! Is that an edge? Yeah! Rachel Ketterborough saying no. The Australians look pretty confident, maybe didn't carry. Pete Siddle's looking at Tim Payne. I don't think Tim Payne's too sure. What's going? Aaron Finch is saying something. And in the end, no. I think it didn't carry to Tim Payne, maybe. Well, there wasn't an edge. We'll have a look at the replay. Certainly looked like an edge. 
Big shout, very confident shout from the Australians. Oh, he's hit the ground. Gee, it went late too, didn't it? Nathan Lyons. Oh! That's close. Oh, for the little lap shot there. And Richard Ellingworth probably thinking it hit him outside the line, but it was very close. And then they've gone upstairs to the Australians, Tim Payne. Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off. Impact outside off. Richard, you can stay with your original decision of not out. I will let you know when you're on screen. Yes, you're on screen. Make the signal. He's got him. He's got him. Azza has thrown it away. Good bowling again from John Holland. Tossed it up. Azza going for the big one. Mitchell Stark did not judge it well at all initially. You can see in his face he didn't pick it up well at all, but did enough to hang on. And that's a big wicket for Australia. And a good timing. That fielder uh, was in no man's land. He was not in on the boundary nor full and look at that beautifully taken he made sure that he got under it and and take it took it comfortably massive wicket it's all about timing and i think uh, no better time to pick up a wicket we just right at the end of the day so azar ali gone for 18 244 for three now mahamad abbas the night watchman coming in trying to negotiate the last couple of overs before stumps as a rally oh he'd be so disappointed with himself sitting in that dressing room now ah! oh that's close very close is it going down the leg side no four leg buys said richard kettlebra oh that's a beautiful shot down the ground and that's gone all the way for six. Great use of the feet. Beautiful swing of the bat. That is a shot of some class. He's a good player of spin. Aris Sohail, he does hail from the same region as Shweb Malik Sialkot, and he models himself a little bit on him as well. Good player of spin. Well, last ball of the day. Stark versus Abbas. Oh, down the leg side. Tired delivery from Stark. And that ends the first day's play here in Dubai. It's an important series, Pakistan versus Australia. Pakistan will finish 255 for three. They've played very well today. Magnificent century for Muhammad Hafiz. Well supported by Aman. There's the Centurion there. He'll be happy with his day's work. Yeah, well, Pakistan won the toss and had no hesitation in batting first. And it was an outstanding opening partnership. Imam and Hafiz both getting very, very good scores. Hafiz scoring his 10th test match century in a magnificent 126. Azhar Ali would be so disappointed with himself, worked very hard throughout the last session, but just threw it away with only a couple of overs to go. So Hales looked good. He's 15 not out and he'll be looking for a good rest tonight. Coming back in beautiful sunlight and hoping to extend his innings. The opening partnership, 205 runs, Hafiz and Imam, that stood out and that just defined the day. 255 for three. Yeah, Australia were looking down the barrel for an opening stand of 205. But the bowlers, as I mentioned, stuck at their task quite well all day. Wickets to Siddle, Lyon and Holland. Stark toiled hard as well, was suffering with some cramping late in the day.